Hey gang, today we are doing our very first cruise ever and it's not just any ordinary cruise, it's a Disney cruise on the Disney Wish. <laughs> and we cannot wait to bring you along for the whole journey. It's gonna be such a magical time. So come oh, along. It's based that for me. And the first look of a ship that we are seeing is actually of the Disney Magic here. And I believe the Disney Wish, which we are about to board, is a little bit bigger than the Magic. And we're heading in now. Look at it. Can you see the giant mouse ears? <laughs> Do you see the ears, Trav? To the ears. And before you enter the ship, there's a little viewing deck here to really catch all the views of this gigantic ship. Trav, I was just not expecting the massiveness of this wish. It's huge. It's yeah. huge. And you can see all of our luggage. Look, that might be mine, that red suitcase. I think that's mine. They're taking it uh, to our room right now, all our luggage. And we're about to head on. This is such a dream come true, you guys. You have no idea. I think I'm just gonna have to keep my sunglasses on this entire trip because I'm already getting emotional. I think I'm excited. I'm emotional. I'm happy. I'm all the things, all the good things, but still all the things. Oh my gosh, we're walking in right now. Welcome aboard, my friends. Introducing the Terrell family. Yay! <laughs> That's us. <laughs> we made it. Look at this place. Oh my gosh. Let's get this party started over at the Marceline Market and grab some grub while we're waiting on our room. Now, from a lot of the videos I had watched, I really liked what I saw at Marceline Market. So that's why we made this our very first stop on the Wish, straight to the food. You guys know that's what I care about. And they have so many different varieties here at Chef's Counter. There's some steak, oh my gosh, some pork loin, some roast beef. They'll carve it right up for you. Grilled chicken breast, some pastas. And we have some signature choices over here. Some chicken tiki makasala, some plant-based beef Szechuan, some teriyaki salmon with jasmine rice. Ooh, pot stickers. Roti, fried pork, even the kids get their own corner. I think I might find some things here I like as well. They have some fries and chicken tenders, some mac and cheese and cottage pie. This is definitely your one stop shop for food at the Market Deli. They have some nice rolls and some different type of salads, even some grilled sesame shrimp as well as grilled beef strips. And over at the pantry, favorites, they literally have all the desserts your heart could desire. And as well as all your fountain drinks, they even have a little coffee and tea station as well. Look how fancy Travis is. He got a whole charcuterie board. That looks amazing. A little prime rib, is that what this is? They just call it roast beef. But roast yeah. beef and, and then, then pork. Pork, and then what's this? A little garlic herb bread? Herb and parmesan focaccia, and then a little bit of baronets. Yum, and some pot stickers. The best thing so far are our little Cokes. Can you guys see? With the crunch on They have like little hidden Mickeys on them. It's so cute. But as you can see, I found the station I was looking for. They have unlimited peel and eat shrimp, as well as Alaskan crab legs. You're gonna find your girl here every single day for lunch, just dunking the shrimp and the crab legs and that butter. In case you guys do not know how to peel and eat shrimp, let me give you a little tutorial. You pull the tail back, peel off the little tentacles and legs, and then the skin. Ooh, I can tell these are like fresh chilled. I like to take and pinch the whole tail off, and then you have a delicious, perfect, peeled shrimp. And now there's only one thing left to do. We peeled it, gotta eat it. 
And I love the amount of horseradish they put in this cocktail sauce. Usually cocktail sauces aren't spicy enough for me. This has a nice little kick. Now the crab leg I think is gonna be a lot harder to get out because they didn't really give you many utensils um, to try to get the meat out. So let's try to just do it. Ooh, this is a big, big boy here. I feel like that's not a classy thing to be doing on the wish right now. But how else do you get the delicious meat out? Something's happening. May I have your attention, please? This is the officer of the watch speaking from the bridge. Ooh, the officer of the watch. are complete. Big, big piece of the crab leg. Woo! Let's dunk it in the butter. Delicious. For dessert, I had to go with their Oreo cheesecake as well as their 25 years of Disney Cruise Line. It's like a little chocolate pudding. You got like the strawberry and cream cheesecake, which is totally up your alley and you loved it, right, Trav? Yep. But I know I'm going to love this Oreo cheesecake. It's almost too beautiful to eat, but we must eat it for science. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm, we will be back here for sure, eating more of these tomorrow and the next day, and, and maybe the next day. Now that we're stuffed to the brim, it's time to finally see our room. And look at these elevators. It's like all Cinderella with Jack-Jack and Gus-Gus, the glass slipper and the pumpkin and the carriage. The hallways are playing some Disney music, a little Moana. Even the lights up here have little magic touches as well as the carpets. And we have arrived at our door. Look at it. It really is like a full on ship door, like metal. And then as soon as you arrive, they actually put your stateroom keys right here so you can grab it. And I think it's, I think it's time for us to look at this room. Let's go check it out. Yeah, you guys, this whole trip, we're just gonna have a parking lot view from this veranda. <laughs> of course, Travis is joking, because for now we have a parking lot view, but then we will have a beautiful view of the Bahamas, the ocean, even when we make our way to Disney's private island, Castaway Key, it's gonna be on our side of the ship. So of course, with us being able to have that beautiful view, this is a deluxe family suite veranda room and I just wanted to get that to have a little bit more space and especially for someone like me who gets motion sickness I think having the balcony instead of like a little tiny porthole is really going to help me feel the ocean breeze in my face and in my hair and keep me nice and calm but isn't this room fantastic you guys all the artwork the bedding all the towels have little hidden magic touches and I'm just already in heaven in here. And I don't usually do really extensive room tours, but since this is our first time on a Disney Cruise Line, let's just do a little quick one. The first thing I noticed that I like is that the showers and the Johns are separate. So that's really, really nice. You can come in here, use the toilet, use your nice little Mickey towel here, as well as some sea salt hand soap. And then while you're on the John, someone else, can be in the shower and this shower is so nice. I also love that they have a full length mirror here so we can check out all of our outfits for the day, but the shower is so nice. Like, oh my gosh, let me see. Let me pull it open here. Yeah, this is going to be such a relaxing shower with the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Even some little makeup towels, some body lotion, and another great makeup mirror in here with some lighting on it. What is in here? We gotta slide this open. I'm sure it's a place to hang your clothes. 
It's not just a place to hang your clothes. We also get little Disney Cruise Line robes. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to put these on very soon. Of course, a safe for your belongings and even a little laundry bag if you guys need to get anything done while you're on board. And we have a safety drill coming up here pretty soon. So I'm sure they're gonna tell us all about these life jackets and information um, on how to keep us safe while we're here as well. It's here. So what's really, really great about the Disney Cruise Line, as soon as we got to Port Canaveral, we dropped our bags off. Um, we gave it to them. Then we went to the parking garage and they bring your bags directly to your room. The only thing we carried on were our alcoholic beverages. They do let you bring either a six pack of beer or seltzers, I think eight each as well as two bottles of champagne or wine each. We just brought some high noon seltzers, but I'm so happy the bags are already here. We can get ready and start enjoying the ship. And although we are Disney Wish Cruise Line noobs, we did hear about a little special thing that everyone does once they're aboard. They put magnets on their door because the doors are actually magnetic. So to decorate it, if it's your birthday, like it is mine, well, it's on my birthday, but we're celebrating my birthday. Travis was able to get me some last minute magnets as well as my awesome friend Shelby. She dropped them off uh, to me at the, my last day at the salon. And I was like, I didn't get any magnets. And she's like, well, here you go. So, so we're gonna put these up on our door because I'm pretty sure we can't even set sail until our door is magneted. And I think for our very first cruise that our door is looking really cool. It has a little Mickey down there that says my birthday cruise, of course. May the force cruise with you. This is probably one of my favorite things, Chewbacca, with the little party hat, but it looks so great, so festive, so fun. I had the Millennium Falcon on wrong. It actually was shaped perfectly to go around our little room number as well as the little look through. That's so cool, perfect, I love it. And my friend that I told you about who got me some of the magnets as well, she also gave me this little thing. I think she found it on Etsy. It's called Waltzing Around the Wish. It's literally all the different bars, lounges, entertainment spots, stages, so you don't get lost on your first cruise. It tells you what level it's at and what area. So this is gonna be a really big help to us on our very first cruise. All right, we've just been kind of hanging out in the room, getting our things out. We also did have to go to a mandatory 20 minute safety drill that you definitely have to go to that. But the other thing you have to go to is their welcoming party right here on the main deck. This is the set sail on a wish and we're about to do that. Start the weekend, right? Yes. Warms up, repeat after me. Wishes do come true. Wishes, Wishes do, do come, come true. true. to the room from the party and we are taking off from Florida. Goodbye, Florida. And we 
are heading to their nightly show now and you can head over to Luna's Libations and look at this. They have all the different popcorn buckets that you can get at Walt Disney World. I'm pretty sure you can get them right here. I just got the Stormtrooper one on May the 4th and it's already on the Disney Wish. You can grab some popcorn and a drink and head into the Walt Disney Theater. And tonight we're going to be watching in the Walt Disney Theater, Disney Sees the Adventure. Good evening and welcome to the Walt Disney Theater. And we both did not know what to expect with these Disney Cruise Line shows, but they completely blew us away. I don't want to show you too much to keep it a surprise for you guys, but it was fun for the whole family. Even Travis, who is not a Broadway lover, loved these shows. The talent was out of this world. We got back to the room and this is the moment I have been waiting for. Look. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Cast members come in, they give you a little turn down service and they turn your blanket into a creature. And our first creature is a little crab. Shiny. And he is very shiny, especially with like, I think these little chocolates. Look at this card that they gave me because it's my birthday. They want to give me $50 off a spa service. I just did have my hair and my nails done. So I don't know if I'm going to do a spa service here, but if I do, I now have a little magic to get 50 bucks off. We're watching Ant-Man. They have all the Disney movies right here for your... Uh, for your viewing and I'm gonna let you know why we chose to watch Ant-Man right now. We had to watch some Marvel movies and that is because tonight we have the first of our rotational dinings. In case you didn't know, on the Disney Cruise Lines you have rotational dinings which means every night you have a different dining experience but you do have the same server which I think is such a fun experience and I can't wait to meet who our server is going to be for this whole trip but I am so excited to announce that our first dining on this Disney Wish is over at Worlds of Marvel. So we had to watch a little Marvel movie to get this party started and check out this restaurant. And to start this dinner here at Worlds of Marvel, you have to get their red rolls. They do give you regular colored rolls, but the red ones are just a little extra magical. This is their salt and pepper shaker in here. Look how cool and pim like it looks. It's very unique, very different. Like, seems like something's gonna happen when you drop the salt in there. <laughs> And let's get some superhero cocktails. This is the Widow's Bite. It's made with gin and fever tree Indian tonic for 10.50. Cheers, Trav. I also just realized why mine is called the Widow's Bite. It looks like a normal drink, but check out the bottom. There's definitely some Widow's eggs or pim particles down below there. I just love the glass, so cool. Is it like boba? Yeah, it's boba. <laughs> and right in the middle of our table is the Quantum Pim Core. It might be doing a little something sketchy during our dinner service, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. For our showcase app, we're gonna be getting the steamed bao bun. It's seared ginger, orange pork belly, toasted sesame seeds, pickled daikon, spring onions, and marin soy honey glaze. Yum, that looks so fluffy and doughy. Is it fluffy and doughy? Oh yeah. Unlike any Avenger Marvel superhero. <laughs> they are not fluffy and doughy, but the bow buns are here. And also for an appetizer, we decided to try their white cheddar and broccoli soup and definitely has an interesting color, just like the rolls. We both think that the cheddar broccoli soup is a little more broccoli than cheddar, but still a good little get. Three, two, one, activate. Pretty sweet, right? And for our entrees, I'm going with the chicken schnitzel. It's pink crusted chicken breast, butter sauteed potatoes, caramelized onions, long green beans, lemon, anchovy, and capers. And Travis is going with their rosemary roasted beef tenderloin carved and served with celeric puree, crisp parsnip, buttered asparagus, roasted shallot, and a truffle cabernet jus. I love that they have a schnitzel here because they really do have a chicken schnitzel over in the Avengers campus in California as well. So it's definitely giving a little homage and can you go wrong with fried chicken? I think not. Hit your buttons now! 
menu has finally arrived of all the desserts and we are gonna get the nano dobos torta it's layered cake rich chocolate and truffle cream with caramel as well as the cheesecake bite which is fresh berry strawberry jelly whipped cream a delicious signature dessert and please do not come to Pim's test kitchen without getting the Pim donut sundae it's dolce de leche ice cream pecan brownie caramel fudge sauce chocolate glaze, mini donut, and whipped cream. Yes, I know we got three desserts, but I could not leave without getting this donut sundae with dolce de leche ice cream. Do you know how good this is gonna be? I don't even know how good this is gonna be, but it looks pretty good. Where's yours, Travis? Where's yours? So good. And getting to see Spider-Man was definitely the icing on the cake. Right when we were having dessert, he basically came out. I do think my favorite dessert was that Sunday. Believe it or not, it had chunks, chunks of dolce de leche. And I did like the entrees. I do think it's a good first meal to start though, because it was kind of basic, kind of mid. Very simple flavor profiles, but a really, really good dinner. But I can't wait to see the other dinner options for sure. What did you think, Tab? It had like a little bit more of a like rosemary taste, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it was yeah. still pretty good. I probably would have liked more of like a basic steak, but I know they gotta like think of different things to make the yeah. entrees elevated. So, so we I just split it. it. I had half of his steak, he had half of my chicken. It was an amazing, fun, just fun dinner to like yeah. be interactive, have all the screens and the, the quantum core. It was really, really good. And man, did we need it after this first day. We were so exhausted. And didn't you know we needed to eat more? Did we really need to eat more? <laughs> That's all we've been doing. Um, but a perfect, perfect way to end the first night. <laughs> we had an amazing first day boarding on the Disney Wish and now we're all cozy. Can we take these? Can we please have these little Disney Cruise Line comfy robes? I think you might be able to buy them in the gift shop and if that as a fact, I think we'll be coming home with them. <laughs> it was seriously such an amazing day. Please make sure you're subscribed so you see more of this adventure. We have so many more videos coming your way and please leave a comment below. What was your favorite thing that we did on our inaugural opening day of a Disney cruise? I mean, I guess it's not an opening day. It's our first day. <laughs> yeah. It felt like an opening to us. And as always, peace, love, and positivity. All the good things. Love you guys, bye. Oh, 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 oh,